when you think about being in a room in Times Square or New York, there's a certain tradition of art making, you know, Hopper and Robert Frank. Photographer Abelardo Morel does some of his best work yeah, in the uh, dark. I see how it works here. Using these techniques allow me to sneak up on the world with a surprising view of it. First, Morel and his team black out the windows with plastic and duct tape. We turn this room into essentially a giant camera. The inside of a camera. The, the inside of a camera. Then, when Morel cuts a hole in the plastic and puts a lens against the glass, something magical happens. The room's view is projected against the opposing wall, upside down, which Morel photographs. Well, you can sort of see oh, that the wow. image is naturally upside down. That's incredible. That's the way yeah. optics work. The technique is called camera obscura, Latin for darkened room. A thin ray of light streaming into a darkened space casts an upside down image. It's a basic principle of optics and it predates even photography. It's believed to have been used by Renaissance artists like Canaletto and Vermeer. Morel's photographs bring the outside in. Sometimes he flips the projections with a prism, making the images right side up. Looking at the world through these different lenses, maybe kind of bring you back to your first experiences of seeing, which are, were fabulous. As kids, we're, everything kind of seemed interesting. A little light on the wall, wow. If these photographs seem unusual or unexpected, it was the surprising reaction of his students at the Massachusetts College of Art and Design that inspired him to take his very first photograph using the principle of camera obscura. They were, I think, in awe. There was a kind of almost a religious silence that struck me as a deep experience. And when he was commissioned to photograph Big Bend National Park in Texas almost 20 years later, he had another breakthrough. So the idea came that, well, why don't I try to make a portable device that could let me photograph? I thought maybe on the walls of the tent, but then, well, the ground is quite wonderful and it changes by the mile. He's since taken his tent on the road from the grounds of the Presidio in San Francisco to the dirt on home plate at Wrigley Field and the asphalt of New York City. We can always move the tent to have it right where we want it. Which is where, not long ago, he returned at our invitation to set up his camera on the Brooklyn waterfront. It's like working in an old-fashioned kind of way, like the old photographers who brought donkeys up a mountain with big cameras. It reminds me that, you know, it takes work to make interesting art. So amazing. I mean, we are seeing the flag moving, and I can see the colors of the red, white, and blue. OK, we're going to make an exposure. Nobody touch the tent. What's interesting is that this is the world that we've seen forever. Right. But somehow, by All using <laughs> this roundabout way of looking at it, it, it looks fresh. That ability to look at the world with fresh eyes might be Morel's shot at greatness.